Hi everybody, this is Liam Hulse and you're listening to the Market Watch Review. In today's release, we'll cover the following topics. USD, Japanese Yen, currency pair, updated lows. General strengthening of the US dollar and oil market sales. Despite the fact that today is a day off in Japan as it is the respect for the age day, the activity of sellers of the US dollar and Japanese currency pair remained quite high. The increases in demand for the Japanese yen may be due to a sell-off in the European stock market. The Japanese yen looks like a more attractive currency compared to the US dollar in the face of uncertainty and the confirmation of the Fed's readiness to keep rates near zero for a long time. But at the same time, I would like to draw your attention to the rather strong strengthening of the USD in the first half of the European trading session. Most likely, the US dollar attracts the attention of investors, acting as a defense asset against the background of increasing sales in the European stock market, which in turn is due to growing fears of the announcement of another quarantine in Europe. This scenario is extremely negative, so trading volatility has increased significantly. In just the first few hours of the European trading session, the euro and US dollar pair fell by more than 70 points, while the euro stock's 50 stock index lost more than 2.5%, helping to strengthen the US dollar. Quarantine remains one of the most obvious reasons for panic in the European stock market, or rather the growing risk of its tightening in a number of European countries. If we move on to the Great British Pound and US dollar currency pair, we will see an even greater scale of decline as the pair is under pressure not only from the strengthening US dollar, but also by the extreme vulnerability of the Great British Pound. After all, there is still no trade agreement under the Brexit deal, and the likelihood of it reaching is decreasing every day. As a result, by 1200 Moscow time, this currency fell by more than 130 points, breaking the important technical support level at 1.2850. Moving to the black gold market, I note a fairly strong wave of decline. Oil in the, of the American WTI grade was rapidly losing ground, as the next tightening of the quarantine measures is critical for this market. After all, even a slight decrease in physical demand will return quotes below $35 per barrel. At the moment, it is extremely difficult to exclude this scenario, and to a greater extent it will depend on the readiness of the governments to tighten the terms of quarantine restrictions in a number of European countries. That's all from me. Closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.